Dune Part 1 was a surprisingly incredible and entertaining movie. In a world of mindless and surface-level superhero films, it was a much-needed breath of fresh air to watch a slower, thoughtful, and more intricate epic. Denis Villeneuve, in my opinion, saved the modern state of cinema with Part 1, and I believe he will do it again with Part 2 on an even bigger scale. In this video, I'm going to go over how, in my opinion, Dune Part 1 saved the course of modern cinema and perhaps reversed the horrible direction modern-day blockbusters are heading. First, Firstly, the thing that I love about Dune the most isn't necessarily the movie, but what the film proves to major motion picture studios. Many of them in recent years have believed that all audiences want to see from big budget movies are surface level, politically trendy films written without much thought and intricacy. However, Dune's success proves them utterly incorrect and shows that a good, solid, intelligent movie is much craved for by moviegoers. I think due to studios putting out many average blockbusters as of late, People have forgotten how good blockbuster epics can be, but when they do occasionally see one, they realise how much more they like it and see how bad the current state of high budget cinema really is. We need to get back to the days of blockbusters being made by artists who have proven themselves on a smaller scale and show that they have a deep understanding of their craft and how they can use it to reflect the world around them. Directors such as Christopher Nolan, Stanley Kubrick and Peter Jackson. Nowadays, it seems as if many high budget movies movies are being made by young writers and filmmakers who were barely a decade removed from college, and while they may show great promise, many just aren't ready to tackle stories of this size, and any insufficiencies they have as an artist are magnified when making movies of such epic proportions. Take the writer of Ant-Man Quantumania for example. Jeff Loveness has only written one feature film prior, so to put him up to write a film of such magnitude is just a recipe for disaster. And sadly, this is happening more and more these days. I mean, for me personally, I wouldn't even feel remotely comfortable writing blockbuster movies until I had at least proven myself three to five times prior. And even then, wouldn't be super confident. Whereas with Denis Villeneuve, he had already proven himself on each scale of film, from Prisoners to Sicario to Incendies and Blade Runner 2049. So for him to tackle a movie like Dune, he's built up the reps and experience to know how to best tell this story. And even though he has such a deep experience, he didn't even rely on that. He challenged himself as an artist and didn't rely on cheap political trends or surface level dialogue. And through that developed and created an incredibly deep and powerful film that covered many topics in society and global politics. He used Dune to reflect global politics by using spice as a metaphor for oil and how many nationalities will plot and scheme in order to best use this natural resource for their own benefit even when it may belong to a nation already. However, even though he is covering political topics, he doesn't do what every modern day film does and choose a side and not even bother to understand the opposite perspective. He just empathizes and understands both sides and reflects the reality of global politics back to us and allows us as the audience to interpret the story and reality in whatever way we see fit which is exactly what art and any artist is meant to do. However, in recent years, when it comes to film, we have completely forgotten this. Denis Villeneuve also portrays leadership and power through his characters in such an honest and intelligent way. He gives us an insight into how leadership really works with a great balance of selfish scheming and stoicism. His characters aren't fully formed and they aren't direct depictions of right or left-wing ideology. They are people torn between ethics and personal greed, try their best to navigate the world around them. Finally, what takes Dune to a complete other level in regards to modern day filmmaking is how great the visuals are. In a world where we have such amazing technology at our fingertips, it's confusing as to why many films just use big explosions and destruction to showcase the visual aspect of blockbusters. Denis and Greg Fraser use the visuals and CGI to help enhance the story and give life to the world. From the visuals of the weapons to the ships all the way down to the landscape itself, it all serves to best tell the story rather than just look epic for the sake of it. So all in all, it's hard to find any faults in Dune at all, and due to the story really picking up in part two, I'm excited to see the impact it will have on the current climate of cinema. I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on my next one.